Awesome. So part two of this, uh, well, it's now a video series, I guess, is um, I'm going to add some database functions into this um, shoot you, short URL system. Um, so I've gone ahead and on my platform created a new database called crazy log underscore cell or short URL. Um, and I've added a function in um, to connect to that database uh, using MySQL IS. It's just a MySQL, it's a standard web hosting platform. I've got MySQL, PHP, um, and I can fire a couple of cron jobs if I need to. So it's really basic. Um, so it should work on just about any hosting platform. Um, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a uh, table. And we're going to call this um, URL. And in here we're going to have how many columns we can have. We can an ID, a URL, and a short code. So three uh, for now. I'm going to assume that I don't care about who created what. So, so we're going to call it short URL ID. Uh, I'm going to just use small int uh, attributes unsigned, make it auto increment primary key. So then we're going to add the URL in. Uh, I'm going to go varchar and I'm going to go for 500 characters. And then um, we're going to add the short code in S H O R T code. Um, and the short code we're going to add as a variable character and I'm just going to add it as 50. This is not optimal. Um, you would shorten this down to however many characters you're going to add in your short code system. And cool, I'm now going to insert some data. So I'm going to insert a, uh, a URL, HTTP, um, and this one will add Google. And the short code will be Google because easy to remember. So let's just make sure that that's gone into our database correctly. So google.com short code Google. Great. So what we're going to do now is we're going to come back to our, our PHP code. Um, and it's in this redirect bit that we're going to do some stuff. So we can ignore this header bit for the minute. And what we're going to do is we're going to echo out the page here. Uh, just to make sure we get it passed correctly. Um, doesn't need to be global because we're passing it. Um, so what we're going to have to do, let's just make sure that's working for a second. So we're going to Google. Right. So what we're going to have to do in here is search our database um, for a match. So first of all, I need to use that connection that I created up top, so global, to make sure we've got access to that resource or that function. And then what we're going to do is we're going to query the SQL. So I always generally copy my SQL um, from other places. So it's going to be a string, so we'll double. So what we're going to do is we're going to want to select Uh, we want the URL, and I'm also going to take the the ID. Uh, that will come in useful later. Uh, where uh, we want it to be where short code equals, and we're going to put Google in here. So this makes all that code works. Great, that's what we want. So I'm going to copy that in. Uh, and rather than put in Google, what we're going to put in here is our dollar page. Now, I know that this is not very good practice because this can be injected, but I'm not going to worry about that for the time being. Uh, probably foolishly. So, um, then what we need to do is we need to actually act upon that query. Now, I always kind of forget how to do this, but result equals my... SQL I underscore query and then we do our SQL and then con is that right and then let's see how many results we get uh, so my SQL I underscore num underscore results or num rows on the results 
And what we're going to do is we're going to echo out that number just to make sure we get the right one. So, it's not working. So, why is it not working? Why is curly underscore query? Um, so, at this point, this is where I consult the web. My mysql i query and let's have a look <laughs> consult so I'm using procedural style by the way that is not very helpful let's just try an example There we go. Let's try some basic examples. Um, no, that's object orientated. There we go. W3 scores are really good um, if you need to know how to do stuff and you want examples. So, connection, blah, blah, blah. So, query. Ah. Okay, so you need con first. That's where I'm going wrong. Right, let's see if that now works. One. So we get one result. Good. So what we want to say is if that number uh, is equal to one, which means that we've had one result, then we're going to uh, do something. Otherwise, we're going to redirect to the home page. So what are we going to do in here? So what we're going to actually do in here is try and get that URL. So um, what we're going to do is, because we've only got one row, we can do this. We can do row equals uh, my SQL I underscore, is it fetch? Um, mm, let's go back. There must be a better one. Oh, here we go. Well, row, oh, that's, there we go, procedural. Get rows, fetch associated. That's what we want. So you want to fetch association on the results. Uh, and then what we want to do is we want to echo out the, that's wrong one, it's a string. Um, but I can't do it like that. So we have to do row, uh, and we want to echo out the URL. So we'll echo out the URL like that. So now when I go to Google, my shortcode Google, I should get Google's um, uh, URL back. Great. So let's get rid of these other echoes that we don't need anymore. So what we're actually going to do in here now is put this header in here. Mm, like so. And rather than put in the, the location like so, we're going to use that uh, the the one that we've just got from the the database. So row uh, URL like so, and we remove this echo. So now, if I go to the home page, I get my home page, and if I go to Google, I should can't be found. So what have I done wrong here? Ah, uh, uh, uh. Oh, it's because in here I have done a mistake, which is I should have put this in here and then put it there. Where you are, uh, let me get rid of this bit. Like so. So now if we go, we should get redirected to Google. Brilliant. So. That's all well and good, but that's only one site. So let's now insert another site. So uh, I don't know. I don't even know another URL. Let's go for the BBC. So H. Oh, I don't need to do that. Let's go for the BBC. So HTTP current BBC. Call it UK, and we'll call it BBC as a short code. Go. Let's add another one. So insert um, YouTube. Uh, 
Um, we'll call it YT, nice and simple. Okay. Obviously, I'm not worried about whether these are clashing or not because I'm putting them in manually. So if we now go to our URL, that's our home page. Let's go to the BBC. Uh, redirect to the BBC. What about YouTube? There we go, we redirect to YouTube. It's pretty cool, eh? Um, and that is URL short coding or yeah, shortening, URL shortening or short codes um, with a bit of database functionality. And that is just really simple, really quick. One database, there's no, um, there's no checking for injection or anything going on here. It's pretty rubbish code, but that's how you do it basically. Anyway, thanks for watching.